love to show you cool, expensive items on this program. We had diamonds last week, remember? Well, today is the second day of Hanukkah. We have some very expensive menorahs. Joining us now is Jonathan Greenstein. He is the founder of J. Greenstein and Company. That's an auction house that deals in Jewish religious items. I believe, collective, this would be called Judaica. That's correct. That's Antique correct. Jewish ritual art is known um, shortly as Judaica. Okay. During the break, we were talking, yes. and this, this menorah right, right here, right there. you can touch it, I won't. Yeah, you can uh, touch it. <laughs> I feel guilty. Touch it. Um, <laughs> it'll bring me a Jewish guilt. in the wall. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is $100,000? Yes. Okay. Yes, it's a, an extremely rare piece. It was made in Kiev um, approximately 150, 170 years ago. And the value of an antique Jewish ritual object increases in what we call sexiness. So are you selling this as an investment? Uh, it could be done as an investment or it could be done as a decorative item. Uh, what I do, Judaica, is a micro niche in the art and antique world. Uh, we're the only auction house that's dedicated solely to antique Judaica. We do nothing else. Well, what gives this yeah. $100,000 worth of value? Rar it's provenance? Ra rarity and beauty. Rarity, rarity and beauty. It's that's very correct. rare to have something as old as this from Kiev, right? A absolutely, but more importantly, it's extremely attractive. If you look at the menorah in front of it, yeah. the menorah in front of it was made in Krakow in 1851. That's, that's that's this one right, right here, here. Krakow, Krakow, in Krakow. Poland. You're right. Um, okay. It's attractive, but it's nowhere near as glamorous as this one. This one would sell approximately $7,000, maybe 8000 at the most. What, what do you mean, it's not as glamorous? I mean, is it the artwork involved? Jews were very poor. You know, Jews were very, very poor. It's only when we came to this country that we, we were allowed to go into various industries. So to have a Jewish person that could buy something like this, or in those days, commission something like this, because it's not like you can go to Walmart and say, you know, I'll take that menorah. You, know, <laughs> you found the silversmith, you gave him a general design of what you wanted, and he would make it for you. Uh, is this investment vehicle, forgive me for calling it Yeah, that, no, absolutely. Investment no, vehicle. No question about it. But is, is it available to non-Jews? Absolutely, 100%. Have I'm, you ever sold a menorah uh, that's going to go up in value to a non-Jew? Uh, no, we've sold to museums, though, uh, which are not necessarily governed by Jewish people. You know, there are several museums that buy from us. Um, they don't buy it as an investment. They do buy it. You do know, you think that by Jewish coming history. on this program yeah. and showing the world what yeah. you have right. and telling the world as you have that this is an investment vehicle, <laughs> right. because this is now $100,000. It's sold in 1986 for $25,000. Yeah, so, so, yeah, something like that. Roughly. Yeah. Roughly, yeah. Do you think you're opening up Judaica to non-Jews as could, an investment vehicle? It could very well be. Would you welcome that? Absolutely. I welcome anybody that could appreciate our Jewish history and Jewish art, whether they do it for dollars or whether they do it for beauty. This one right here. Yeah, this one was made in the Ukraine. Me, I'm going to point to it so everybody can see it. Okay, that one there. Right, yeah, right. can't see it real well on TV, but not, that's the one. Okay, right. yes. This is known as a Baal Shem Tov style of menorah. The Baal Shem Tov was the founder of Hasidism. You know, Hasidism, the other guys yeah, yep, with the yep, beard yep, and stuff. Yep. Right, and... Uh, it's uh, purported that he used the style of menorah. Now, whether that's true or not, nobody really knows. But because it was made in the Ukraine approximately 1800, uh, which is about 70 or 80 years after, he pa you know, after his passing, actually it's a little bit more than that, um, it's uh, purported to be the Baal Shem Tov style. Okay. Yeah, this, this would sell for about, uh, because of its enormous size, it would sell anywhere between um, thirty and $40,000. Okay. Yeah. Is this, this is good. All these items will be auctioned? Uh, soon? Um, in the near future. We only have auctions twice a year. Just twice a year? Yeah, that's that's twice a year. There's it's not, not a rolling auction. No, there's only 600 <laughs> Judaica collectors throughout the entire universe that we have on our, uh, on our mailing list. I mean, I'm sure there are more waiting to be born. A collector is born, not developed, you know, uh, well, just whether he puts his no, heart no, into... No. It's an investment vehicle. Uh, <laughs> Jonathan, it's an investment vehicle. You talk about the money, I'll talk about the beauty. I have a gallery <laughs> director that collects the money, and I sit there and I just absorb this stuff. It is gorgeous. Yeah. Do, would you mind awfully if I ask a personal question? Absolutely. Uh, forgive me for married with five kids. No, 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 no. <laughs> That's not the. I'm married with six kids, okay? Got you on that one. Um, recently, I've been contributing money to the Salvation Army. Okay. okay I do, at the end of the bell ringers, sure. and I, I put the dollar in the whatever it is. And they wish me happy holidays. Okay. Now, they're a Christian organization. They should be I, wishing you Merry Christmas. Ah. So you would not be offended Absolutely if I not. said, That's the most Jonathan, See, Merry was, Christmas to it's you. It's the most ridiculous thing in the planet. I mean, I wouldn't say that to yeah. you, because I know you're Jewish. Right. So I wouldn't do that to you. But who but, cares, man? Yeah. It's all, but you wouldn't it's be offended if good. I did. No, we all believe in this guy up there, man. You approach him differently, I approach him differently, but we all love him. You know, that's pretty good. Jonathan Greenstein, thank you very much for being My here. My absolute pleasure. That was terrific. Thank you. Will you come back again? Whenever you invite right me. Right before the second Passover. Washington.
<laughs> we'll talk about Seder trays, you know, for the Seder. Yes, absolutely. Another investment vehicle? Uh, no question about it. Only when it's bought through Jay Greenstein and Company. <laughs> <laughs> this is your home, young man. Yeah. Thank you very much indeed, John. Pleasure. Stay right there for a second. I've got some other business to do here. Sure. It's